Viva Sadbini, and I'm a sophomore at Whitney High School, and I live in Los Angeles, California. So for my academics, I have a 4.0 GPA, and I plan to keep it that way until senior year. And I take all honors or AP classes, and I plan to do that as I go on. So right now, for my AP classes that I have planned in the future, I plan to take AP Chemistry, AP U.S. History, AP Seminar, and AP Spanish, AP Physics, AP Calculus BC, AP Research, and AP Literature, at least in school. And self-study, I might consider self-studying AP Music Theory, because I love music, or AP Computer Science A, because I'm currently working on AP Computer Science Principles. So for my testing strategy, I plan to take both the SAT and the ACT. So obviously the goals are to have over a 1500 on the SAT and a 34 plus, or more than 34 on the ACT. And I'm thinking of taking at least the SAT by August this year. So I work, I, I want to work and prepare over the summer starting now. And I'll be using like practice tests and practice booklets from Amazon, stuff like that. And I also heard Khan Academy is a really good resource. So my resume, this is mainly the extracurricular section that's not really throughout the rest of the presentation. So I just have it here. So as you can see, I'm really involved in Boy Scouts. I, uh, I oversee over a hundred scouts at once per meeting, doing all kinds of activities and assignments to multiple kids at once. And I also conduct, I'm working on research in neuroscience right now with Dr. Jobin Varki, who's an assistant professor at USC. And previously I worked on various applications of gene therapy and machine learning. So for my extracurricular activities, I'm currently a Boy Scout and I've been working on Boy Scouts since I was in fourth grade. And also Taekwondo, which I've been doing since third grade up until now. And music, I play the piano, the flute, and tabla, which I've been all doing since I was in kindergarten. So that's over a decade ago. And volleyball, I'm currently a junior varsity starter player. So volunteering, I do lots. I have over 100 hours in environmental service throughout the Boy Scouts, which involves various projects such as planting trees and plants. And I'm actually working on a passion project relating to this, which I plan to do hopefully this year. And also I teach local elementary students about current events in medicine through a school program. And over the summer, I have various volunteering opportunities lined up such as at a few local hospitals. Honors and awards. So I plan to become an Eagle Scout by the end of my high school career. And I am working on getting level 10 of the Certificate of Merit, which is a piano award. And I hope to get the National Merit Scholarship because I'll be taking the PSAT for that um, in October this year. And I'm also a Taekwondo black belt. So here's my elevator pitch. Hello, my name is Viva Swabini, and I'm an insatiable quest for knowledge, driven by my passion for exploring novel and progressive subjects. My journey into the fascinating world of gene therapy stems from this curiosity where I see endless possibilities for revolutionizing medicine. But I don't stop there. I thrive on spreading my interest across various domains, whether it's diving into neuroscience, delving into machine learning, or exploring the intricate world of gene therapy. And what sets me apart is my refusal to be confined to one discipline. As a high school student, I find joy in diverse activities like playing volleyball, music, and practicing Taekwondo. But amidst these passions lies a deeper drive to make a difference. Through my ongoing research in neuroscience, I've, in, I've uncovered connections that ignite my enthusiasm for gene therapy's potential. And I envision a future where these insights not only transform our understanding of the brain, but also redefine the landscape of medicine as a whole. I'm not just another student. I want to work for change. So join me on this exhilarating journey as we push the boundaries of what's possible in medicine. So for the admissions officer role play, I, the three I chose, I chose to admit all three. So for Brock Lee, he showed involvement in various leadership roles and also was very involved in sports. And even though their personal essay did not speak of themselves as involving in many activities, their recommendation letter spoke of them very highly. 
And for Candy Bar, they also were very involved in sports and leadership roles. But really, what I found really cool was how they showed good persistence. They were involved in all their activities since freshman year. And their personal essay did a good job of showing who they are as an athlete as well, because it connected it to a personal injury that they suffered. And gym shorts, I also admitted them because as an engineering prospect, they were involved in mainly STEM activities, such as the Science Olympiad and stuff like that. However, they were also involved in sports and they showed a persistent through that in high school. So with Gifted Gabbers BSMD program, I learned so much more about myself and what makes a competitive BSMD applicant. In fact, I barely knew what a BSMD was before this program. And I learned the techniques to fine tune my own profile to stand out as well. So hopefully I can be a competitive applicant in the future. Thank you for this. Excellent, uh, Vivaswat. Wonderful. I really, really commend your uh, consistency uh, and you show you showed up and uh, you're driven. That's that's like the main ingredient that's that's necessary. Uh, consistency and um, and and progress over perfection. So you really um, have built a very good profile, and I want you to continue with that and going after uh, what what uh, you need. Okay, so great job. Thank you.